Hey y'all, every once in a while I'll get a request and uh, it's uh, I think a clever request so I'll go ahead and do it even though I assume going into it that it's, I'm basically doing it just for that one person who asked for it. <laughs> and uh, I was, so I was a little bit surprised when uh, so many people were interested in this Andy Griffith theme song. So I'll, I'll, I'll run through how I play it and again this is my own arrangement of it based on listening to it. There are other people on uh, YouTube that do all kinds of versions that have, they do the whistling part and the bass line, you know, as a finger picked kind of jazz song arrangement. You know. But this is just my arrangement, the half assed way I kind of do it. So I'll show you what chords I use. I think the key, anyway, for most of these chords is that you're pretty much picking, or at least I am, uh, the A, D, G, and B strings for most of them. And it's sort of a middle. rhythm to it on the middle strings mostly. So at any rate, um, the version that I played along with is certainly in E. So it starts off with E. E7. So on this is a different voicing for an E7 than I normally use, but I, I think this voicing works. Take Do your E7 as the two-fingered version with the open D string, but then also add the B at the third fret. So you have, uh, you're going, right, A, A minor, and for the A minor I concentrate just on those three strings, the D, D, G, and B. So you got, back to E, C sharp 7. And on this one, it is important not to hit either of the two E strings. Regular F sharp to B7. And then the second time through, it's E to E7, A, A minor, E, F sharp, B7. So it's the same chords, except you're skipping over uh, one of them, I guess, um, the second time through. Uh, and then uh, goes through another one of these. That that this time through the second full time through it goes straight from the A minor to a B set. And this is the part that goes do 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 you know with the little middle eight section. <laughs> so you end on that. That's the tricky part, and probably the the only remotely difficult part about the song is hitting that E to B7, but only those three. So it's like you were barring a B7 like this, you know, with the all the way across at the second fret, and then D at the fourth, and B at the fourth. But you're only playing those middle strings of it, so you're only playing the D, G, and B strings. So E, B7, and then that same E7 again, A, E, and then C sharp 7, F sharp, B7, and then it starts over at the top again, and you're basically done from there. Ends on another B7. So those are all the chords and all the segments of it, sections of it. And uh, I think if you just sit with those and then play along with, uh, pick up, pick out any of the versions of of the, that song that are on YouTube uh, and get the order of it, um, it's really pretty simple. Except for I, I think anyway, the the tricky part is. And that's really it. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know, but I doubt if you will. <laughs>